Welcome back. We're standing by for that uh, interview on emergency med uh, medicine. But right now in studio, no stranger to the population because of the yeoman service she's been doing with the work with HIV and AIDS. Uh, Merle Ali, coordinator of Rescue Mission, HIV and AIDS Ministry. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Lisa. It's certainly a pleasure to be here at this time of the morning. And we are continuing the conversation because December 1st was World AIDS Day. Right. And uh, we had guests on last week talking about the fact that we still need to do so much work, so much awareness. Tell us what's going on. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, as you mentioned, World AIDS Day was observed on Sunday, the 1st of December, and it's the first every year. Yeah. And it is so important for us to take note of this date because HIV and AIDS have not gone away. It's still with us, and we still need to be so aware and get the facts and also practice those principles mm -hmm. that will prevent us from being infected, knowing how to respond to persons that are living with HIV and AIDS, mm -hmm. and how to keep that message alive. Mm -hmm. And that's the work that you do. That's right. Yes. And in terms of the persons that you are working with, are you seeing the numbers increasing, decreasing, um, just remaining the same? What are you seeing? Actually, I am seeing almost a, a silence about HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. We know that the infection is still there. It still continues to spread, although it is said that there is a reduction because of the medications that are available yeah. and the compliance right. that people, uh, persons who are infected, they are taking the medication, so you don't hear too much about it. And someone who is HIV infected, they may not even have any symptoms that we used to associate it with ye years ago. Mm -hmm. So someone looks normal, healthy, and continue to live a normal life, a productive life. Mm -hmm. So yes, HIV is still there, and. Um, Precautions need to be taken in terms of reducing the spread and hence going towards that goal of eliminating mm -hmm. altogether. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, so it's no longer that sentence. So, no, definitely uh, not. Persons would remember in the early 80s when yes. it was first discovered and, yes. you know, it was almost pandemic and there was this angst, angst about That's HIV right. and AIDS. But as you said now, do you think the silence has to do with the fact that persons are now more accepting in the workplaces, for example, where there was this, this great fear. I'm not drinking from a glass. I'm not <laughs> using the washroom. You You're know, so right about them. that. Yeah. Yes. But I think the thing about it, we it, it was in our face. The yeah. messages were there. Yeah. And now we are not seeing much of that. And I would really like to see more of those messages in various forms to constantly remind us that we need to take the necessary precautions yes. to eliminate Yes. The spread of HIV. And you think it's possible to eliminate? And it is possible. That okay. is the goal that we are working towards. And mm -hmm. as you know, the theme for this year is eliminating uh, HIV and AIDS um, community by community. Mm -hmm. And our community is not just a geographical area, mm -hmm. but a, our sphere of influence. Wherever we go, whatever mm -hmm. we do, whoever we associate with, we must be able to convey that message yes. to say we can do it. Yeah. And yes, I look forward to the day when I can say I am diabetic and not be ashamed of it. Right. Just like I am HIV positive and I am not afraid of the repercussions or yes. the attitudes that someone may have. And do you think that the stigma that was attached to HIV and AIDS is still as dire as it was in the 80s and the 90s? I think that is reducing. Or right. Still, mm -hmm. you know, there are areas that we need to work are, on. Yes, yeah. that we need to work on. And no matter what you do, wherever we go, whether the discrimination may be against a disease or our nationality or na ethnicity or where we come from or what we do, there is a level of discrimination that will always exist, and mm -hmm. that's something we have to accept. Mm -hmm. But in terms of HIV, I will say that there have been strides, yes. and we continue to work towards that and see the eradication. But you the you've contributed to, those, to that uh, work that has been done to build awareness and to work with the uh, victims, well, the survivors, really. Yes, that's uh, right. With the rescue mission, HIV and AIDS ministry. That's right. And, and just uh, we just have about a minute to go. Um, tell us what's next for you with regard to the ministry and the work that you're doing. Well, we started off with substance abusers. We saw the correlation with HIV. And now we are seeing a different trend. And that is what we want to be relevant to the times that we are living in. And regardless of a person's lifestyle, we must ensure that we exhibit the love, just as uh, Jesus said, 
th by this will men know that you are my disciples when you love one another. So it's that message of love regardless of what our lifestyle we may be that yeah. we love. Merle Ali, what a wonderful way to end and a lovely way as coordinator of Rescue Mission HIV AIDS Ministry to speak about love.